Hello skaters or fitness enthusiasts out there. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I will be showing you some exercises that will help you whenever it rains, like today, where we have to move indoors because <laughs> skating in the rain isn't always fun. Well, these exercises can still help you improve physically, but also technically. And in the exercises I'll show you today, it's very specifically about how you can finish your pushes properly. Well, one of the main reasons that some skaters are better than others is you only finish your push till here and then stop pushing and let it fly out here. And the person that pushes for twice as long will probably go not twice as fast, but a lot faster. So these exercises are just for you to improve in that very aspect, to fully finish the push. Parts of it is being aware and doing the movements correctly, but also a big part of it is being muscularly strong enough to actually do that movement, especially when the fatigue kicks in. So there's just gonna be some few different exercises. You can do them on skates as well if you are at that level, but I recommend that you do them on shoes at first. Most of this video is gonna be here on YouTube. The last few exercises, the extended version of the video is gonna be on my new platform, Thor of Skating. There's gonna be a link below, but I'm sharing a lot more content on that, taking it to a whole new level. Thanks to the team behind me that helped me create this platform, I can share much more and also share stuff that you guys would be interested in. But for the first exercises, we'll start right here on YouTube and then I hope you're gonna hop onto my platform and sign up, become a subscriber there and allow me to make more cool content for all you guys. I'll demonstrate the exercises one by one. As per usual, I start with the most simple exercises so that we can all join in there. And then when it gets difficult, you can also decrease the time that you do these exercises. At first, I generally suggest you to do them as a technical workout. So whenever you feel like you can't do the movement properly, take a break and come back at it. If possible, if you have a TV, try and put that on and look at me as I do them. And if you have a mirror, try and see if you can get that or those two somewhat close to each other. That's what I recommend. The next thing I recommend is to find, as I did here, find a line where you can easily see if you are pushing to the side. Like I said, that's the whole purpose of this video is for you to learn how to push straight to the side and not backwards. Not just because you're losing part of that push, but you're putting yourself in a wrong position. So even the other leg that you're about to start pushing with is also gonna lose its pressure. And then it's very hard getting out of that rhythm of just tilting around and not properly extending and finishing those pushes. So the very first exercise is weight transfer. I've demonstrated that multiple times here, but I feel like it really deserves to be in this video as well. So basically just get down here and this is just a good way to find the basic position and make sure that you are aligned. So if you tilt things, it's very hard, keep that leg fully extended to the side. So make sure that is pointing forward. And then you can just practice here. Body awareness, I would say. Like just knowing where your limbs are at, if they're pointing the right way, and get a good idea of how does this all feel when pointing forward. And as you can see here, it's probably aligned. You can engage your arms as well as you do this. Make sure that you're not just aligned like that, but that your feet are also pointing straight forward. When you're skating, if they're pointing that way, it's definitely not a good thing because you want to be skating forward as fast as you can. The next exercise is the taps. So for this one, we're learning to engage the upper gluteus medius here that we used to lift off and also to hold something to the side. So you go into the same position as if we were just about to start that weight transfer, but instead you make small, very controlled taps. If you do these perfectly, nothing's gonna tilt out of position because you have your hips engaged. Again, you can start by warming up by simply standing and then practicing how to lift that without twisting. So to demonstrate, go out there, find a position, and then use this to activate. And as you can see, nothing here moves. Not tilting, not caving in with the knee, keeping it all flat, and then just use your hips to engage that lifted leg. When you lift it, don't open up, don't push it forward or backwards. Everything stays the same way. So when you're out skating, when you get to that extension, don't let it twist away. All right, very good one. I generally do three to five on each side before I switch to the other side. So that's what I recommend you guys to do. Extensions. So this one's a little more difficult. It takes some more of a constant focus, I would say. Down here in that position, and then we simply just extend. Let's take it back in here. Extend. Let's take it back in here. Again, same idea, except now you've got to get used to your center of gravity slowly shifting out there 
and do not compensate with the upper body. You should push this straight to the side. You hold that in the same position, and again, you make the hips do the work. The more we can get this under, the more we can engage all this, the easier it is to stay stable. That was the first two exercises. The rest of them you're gonna find on my own platform, the Thor Skating, because my goal is really to drive all of you over there because it's just more simple for me to have everything that I share on one single platform for all of you that really do love skating as much as I do. So hope to see you there. And if not, hope to see you for the next video.